Hello, my name is Mrs. Farinde. I hope you are well. I hope you've been staying safe. Uh, we're almost there, we're almost there. So well done to all of you for all the amazing work you've been doing so far, for sending it into the year two email. Uh, we're so excited to see that you're always still continuing on your home learning. So well done to you all, keep up the good work. Okay, today's video is all about Monday's lesson, which is the PSHE session, okay? Let's share the screen. So, hello year two. So we'll be watching a short film called The Steadfast Tin Soldier, okay? So you will go on there, so below is the link on the YouTube link, just copy and paste into your web browser, and then you can watch the film. And make sure you watch it to the end, okay? Because what we're going to be doing, we're going to be discussing some of the themes that might come, pop up in, in this film, okay? So we're going to be looking at the themes of the, stead, of the story of the steadfast tin soldier. Now a theme is an underlying message or a big idea in a story. Now many stories have more than one theme, okay? And sometimes when you're watching this um, story or mini film, uh, you don't always, it's not always direct. So it's not always sort of in your face what the story or the theme is about, okay? Sometimes you just need to use inference to figure it out. So that's using what you see in your big knowledge, in your mind, to try and think about what you think the common themes are that are running in the, in, in the story. Okay, so I will take you through a couple of them. So when you watch the theme again, you, when you watch the story again, some of the themes that might pop up are romance, perseverance, so that's not giving up, being really resilient, no matter what is happening, really staying really cheerful, still staying really upbeat. You've got loyalty, that's a common theme. So being loyal, um, not wanting to do anything to harm another person, really just staying and hoping that no matter what's happening uh, to that person, you are still staying loyal, okay? Acceptance, so just accepting who you are, accepting your flaws, accepting this is who I am, and I am happy with who I am. That's what acceptance is. Courage. So that's being brave, being really bold and really rooting and, and really standing firm. Okay. And then human life. Obviously, you know what human life is. It's human life, knowing that it's a precious thing um, and, and really caring for human life. So here are some of the themes that we found in the story. And I'm just wondering, I'm challenging you. Can you think of any more? Can you think of any more when you were re when you're watching the story again? Think about it. Are there any more themes that I might have missed out that actually you can point out yourselves? I'll let you have a try. Great. We'll move on to the next screen. So, what we're trying to do, especially with foundation subjects, you watch that and look at themes, and I would love for you to discuss them with your adult that's in the house. But also, what we want to do is also help you to remind you to use your year two skills checklist, okay? So, here was a copy of one of the checklists. What I want you to do is, whenever you are writing, remember to come back to this checklist, okay? You will always get a skill of the day, and the skill of the day for this Monday PSHE lesson is to challenge yourself to be able to use year two common exception words all right now this year two skill checklist is still something that we think that you can absolutely smash like this is something you can do this is i know i've seen some of your work and it's been amazing how you are still incorporating year two skits checklist year two skills inside of your inside of your writing so keep up the great work so the main activity for you today will be to pick two or three themes from the story, okay? Using the common exception words, which is your main skill of the day, and looking at some of your year two checklists, how you can incorporate that into it. I'd like you to write a diary entry as either the tin soldier or the ballerina, okay? So you can choose, it's completely up to you who you decide to be. I want you to explain how the themes you've chosen can help you make the world a better place. All right, so here is an example uh, for one we have written earlier. Uh, Dear Diary, what an exciting day. I have found a new home and everybody has been very kind to me and have made me feel very welcome. I met the most beautiful ballerina who dances so gracefully, it fills me with so much happiness. The parents of the child are lovely. They brought me home for their child, even though I only have one leg. I'm excited because I'll be the best toy to their, their child plays with. 
I can't wait to play with my new family. I wonder what games we will play first. From the Tin Soldier. So that is an example of what a diary entry would look like. What I want you to do is, can you spot, first of all, spot which are the common exception words and which are, uh, uh, have I included from the year two checklist? I'll let you have a, have a look and I'd love you to discuss with your adult next to you. Okay, so I may have actually given you a bit of a hint and I think you all agree with me, all the words in purple are your common exception words, fantastic. And all the letters or words in green are things uh, that will be helpful for you for your year two skills. So you've got capital letters for Friday, dear diary, you've got an exclamation mark at the end of what an exciting day. Uh, beautiful is a full suffix. Happiness is a nurse suffix because is a, what is that? I'm gonna let you have a good think. I bet you can tell me that one is. And then from, and then the tin soldier because it's a uh, capital letters because it's a name of, of the character of the, or, or, or the, um, the, yeah, the character in the story. Okay, good. Now I wonder if, can you spot also, which themes do you think I would have picked from there? I picked, I've definitely picked two um, from there. And I wonder which ones you can you find you can find for me. Which themes? If I go back to the other checklist, which themes do you think that I have chosen from for my as a theme for my diary? You see, it's not an obvious topic. I'm not going to say I you know it's a, this is my direct theme. I want you to be able to deduce or think using your inference, thinking about what I've already given you an example for some of the themes um, and using your knowledge or using your mind and what you think um, are most common in this diary entry. I'll give you a moment to have a think. Right, so here we go, are you ready? So the two themes that I decided to choose from my theme, um, my theme uh, page is romance and acceptance. So I picked those two themes and those two themes are evidenced in when he says he met the most beautiful ballerina who dances so gracefully, it fills him up with so much happiness because he is in love, romance. He, really loves this new ballerina that he's just met. Okay, good. And then acceptance is where he talks about the parents of the child are lovely. They brought me home for their child, even though I only have one leg. I'm so excited because I will be the best toy their child plays with. He accepts, even though he might have one leg, that's okay. He accepts himself for who he is and he's determined to be the best that he can be. Okay, so well done to you for picking those two themes. If you got those correct, well done. If you didn't, that's okay. It's a new thing, and this is something that's why it's going to, it's about you and what themes you can pick from the story uh, that you think that, will, that you'll be able to convey in your diary entry. I wish you all the best of luck. Well done. Keep up the great work, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.